If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to ring the bell so that you get notified when I post a new video. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Let's get started. Today I'm going to do a video on 10 things that I still buy as a minimalist. Number one, organic food. I mostly buy organic berries, grapes, apples because of the high use of toxic pesticides here in the US. Sometimes I buy conventional, but only if it's from this list. This information is from ewg.org, the environmental working group. I still try to go with organic when possible. We signed up for a local farm share program. We paid ahead $1,000. That way the farm had some money to make it through the winter when they don't have as many products to sell. And also with our membership, we receive benefits like farm tours and classes on the farm, like how to grow your own vegetables and how to raise chickens. And I'm looking forward to taking advantage of those activities this coming spring. Number two, eco-friendly cleaning products. I used to make my own when I had more time I made baby products and cleaning products. My goal is to get back into doing this a bit as I can find some more free time. Number three, technology. As I'm working on growing my YouTube channel, I have to buy more tech, especially SD cards. I've bought batteries, a camera, a case for the camera, a tripod, a ring light, and the drone I actually bought just for filming our family on our trips but it's really added a nice touch to my YouTube videos. I'm really looking forward to sharing our minimalist travels with you. I just had to buy a new computer as well as an external hard drive because I learned the hard way that you need storage space, especially when you're editing videos. The new computer purchase was actually prompted when I lost an entire video that I was working on. I was so upset and I had no idea how I could save it. I didn't know what went wrong, but I ended up going to Best Buy to get some advice and then I went to the Apple store and I fixed the problem, so things are good now. Number four, subscriptions. Recently, I signed up for YouTube Premium, which also came with YouTube Music, and I really enjoy watching YouTube videos without all of the ads. The Music app is a really nice bonus. I also have Disney Plus, which we got for free with my phone plan. We also have Netflix, and I really like being able to download the videos for offline use, specifically when we're traveling. It's nice to have the option of pulling out the iPad and using it in moments where I just need help. We really don't watch TV here, so when we do travel, it's very attention grabbing for my son. He's not used to watching TV, so it's really special when he does get to. I also signed up for a few learning apps on the iPad. We have Homer and an app called Pock Pock, which is really aesthetically pleasing and it's super cute. I really like it. I would definitely recommend it for anybody with small children. Number five, investments. I do buy stocks and I have a few other financial investments. This is something I only started doing in recent years. I was always interested in economics. It was actually something that I studied in school alongside actuarial science. Ironically, I have been really bad with managing my money throughout my 20s. Now that I'm 30 and I have a child, I feel like I really need to start adulting and being more responsible with my finances. For the first time, I've actually started budgeting and I've been tracking my spending using an app called Rocket Money. I really like it because you can sync up your bank accounts and also your credit card. A lot of the budgeting apps don't show you what transactions are on your credit cards. They only stick with your checking accounts. This is a feature that I really like about Rocket Money. Number six, eating out. Sometimes I emotionally eat and this is something that I've been struggling with in the last couple of years. This is something I really need to cut back on and I plan on doing so next month. It's probably a part of long-term food issues that I've had, but I do have it under control and I'm really working on fixing the emotional eating problem. I really enjoy taking my son out to restaurants. He's a really good eater and I love having him try new foods and just having the social experience of being out, meeting up with a friend and just having a nice dinner.
seven vacuum filter bags, water filter bags, and water filters for the coffee machine. Even though our water report is good, I still don't trust the water and I have our whole house on a filtration system. It honestly feels like a spa in our house. This is the filtration system. There's an app that you download which shows you how much water has been filtered and all kinds of metrics that are actually really interesting. I noticed a change in my skin and my hair after we got the filtration system. On top of that, I also have a drinking water filtration system directly under our sink with a separate faucet for our drinking water. Number eight, travel gear. We have done a lot of traveling as a family and I do not skimp out when it comes to travel gear. In the past year, I have purchased two carry-ons. The first one didn't really work out and the second one I love. This will be my only carry-on for the next 20 years. I also purchased a travel car seat. I've actually used it to replace the regular car seat that we have. So I only have one car seat now. I added a buckle strap to the back of the stroller. I thread it right through the back and this is it. This is how I travel. Number nine, gas. I don't really need to talk much about this. My car is a total gas guzzler. I'm spending hundreds of dollars on gas every month. I'm really hoping to switch to an electric car soon. On weekends, we try not to drive and only take the train. We're lucky that we live in an area that's close to New York City, but also there are a lot of interesting towns along the way where we stop and do different kinds of activities. And my son loves the train. That in itself is a fun activity. Number 10, tissues. I have been using real bamboo toilet paper for years. I love the company. They have a really great mission behind what they do. Not only is it affordable, but it's also sustainable. And I just don't use paper towels. I switched to using dish rags many years ago. Once in a while, I'll buy a few new ones as some of them get really stained and need replacement. What are some things that you still buy as a minimalist? I'm curious to know. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on minimalist life and travel. Bye-bye, see you soon.